Hi guys, welcome to week three. You guys have done a really great job with the first two modules and I'm looking forward to seeing what you do this module. It was great to get to know all of you just a little bit. Um, and we will keep working on that whole apprehension thing all semester. And those of you who are not as nervous, great. It's gonna be a lot less work for you. This week, we're going to inform. And we're going to learn how to inform ethically. As you can see, I still haven't completely dealt with the uh, glare on the glasses thing at my new desk, but I keep adjusting and eventually I'll get it. Um, I feel for all of you who have glasses and we all have the same problem because we need to get rid of that glare uh, in order to, for me, especially to see your eyes so I can see if you're making eye contact when I grade your assignments. Please, 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 this week, choose your Colorado nonprofit. It's essential because you're getting ready for your first major presentation and it's going to be informing us about that nonprofit. And you are going to be stuck with that nonprofit all semester. Pick something that you feel really passionate about. Pick something that interests you, that you think is important. There are nonprofits in Colorado that address just about every issue you can think of to so pick one that you're interested in because you're going to be spending a lot of time on their website and potentially doing other kinds of research about them. So that's really, really important. Your first presentation is due on May 10th. There's a description of it in the future coming up assignments segment of your module so that you can get an idea what you're going to be doing. Um, there's a bunch of stuff in the optional readings and, and materials about plagiarism. Take a glance. Most of you are quite familiar with this subject already. Um, and we sometimes put cool stuff in the optionals um, just to make sure you're paying attention. Obviously, they're optional, so you don't have to invest your time, but you should kind of look through them just to see what's there every, every week, just to see if you're not missing anything important. Uh, I think that's all I wanted you to know this week. As always, if you need anything, email me directly. I get that much faster and I don't get it twice. Um, I will always get back to you, usually pretty quickly, as you probably have seen already if you have emailed me. Please, discussion posts, two to three minutes. Refer back to the material as in... In Grabsy's presence, in Grabsy's discussion of blah, 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 called such and such, this subject came up and it connects to what I'm talking about in the following way, blah, 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 blah. You guys have done this a million times in academic papers. You're doing the same kind of thing. It's an in-text citation. Just tell us why you picked that thing to bolster whatever you're talking about and where it came from. Easy peasy. You guys got this. I've been really, really enjoying seeing what you guys are doing so far, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you're going to do the rest of the semester. So have a great week. Bye.